this one you're gonna have the black bumper it does have your built-in park sensors all along the front then you're gonna have your two classic red tow hooks hid headlights and fog lights on this one and then you have the seven slot jeep grill lifting up your hood you're gonna have your 3.2 liter engine here great for if you're out in public and want to keep everything you have in the back here private and the nice thing about the jeeps is they do come with a full-size spare tire that is super easy to access but now we're going to finish up in the front seat in the front of this one you have your brown leather seats they are heated and cooled and they're going to have your red trailhawk badging lots of storage in your center console here you're going to have a 12 volt plug-in as well as a usb in there and then the top of your center console is going to have some additional storage as well. Two cup holders right here. You have your park brake and you have your select drain control. So you can switch between auto, snow, sport, sand, mud, or rock. This one also has your hill descent control and it is four wheel drive. SD card reader as well as a USB and aux and another 12 volt plug in. So you're super covered on chargers in this one. And then of course some more storage up in the glove box. This one does come equipped with the 8.4 inch touchscreen. You also have the option to hook up your phone for your Bluetooth. This is where you can control your climate. This one does have dual climate control and then you can also can control all of your heated and cooled seats as well as your heated steering wheel. When your phone is all hooked up, this is where you will to see all of your media. And then this is where you can control your radio as well. Coming down just a little bit lower, you can turn on and off those rear park sensors if they're bothering you. And this is your lane keep assist as well as your adaptive cruise. If you don't want to use your screen, you can just turn it off handy at night so it's not shining bright back in your face. And then you do still have all of your climate controls down here as well if you're not wanting to use that screen. On the steering wheel itself, you're going to have all of your hands-free controls as well as your cruise controls. And they do have that adaptive cruise control, so those buttons are down here as well. On the back side of the steering wheel, you're going to have some buttons. That's for changing the radio or turning up and down the volume on your music. Memory seats on this one, so two different people can drive and it's going to remember who was driving last. Auto headlights, so if someone's coming towards you, they're going to dim down to your low beams. Some additional storage up here on the dash. It's kind of hidden. We're gonna have a universal garage door opener as well. So each of these buttons can be programmed into a different garage door remote. And then all the controls for your full panel sunroof. But now we're gonna finish up in the back seat. In the back of this one, these seats do fold down flat all the way. There's a little lever at the top, you hit that. And both of them do fold down. When they're folded down flat, there is a ton of room back here. Great for sporting equipment or any pets or groceries. And then they pop right back up super easy. They also do recline back. You're gonna have two cup holders in the middle as well as your armrest. And then you're going to have some air vents here for your passengers to control their own airflow. You also have a 115 volt plug-in, some storage in the back of the driver's seat pocket, and then you do have all weather floor mats on this one as well. Some additional storage areas in your door as well as a speaker. And then your passengers do get access to this full panel sunroof as well. If you want to make this cheap yours, you can click the link below for pictures and pricing, or you can give us a call 780-942-3629.